Yeah, Santa people. Okay, so here's the thing. I feel like I want to start doing some reaction videos again, you know, because it's been a good while since I've done a reaction video and I kind of miss doing it. To be honest with you, I kind of miss doing it. But here's the thing. I've been thinking about that whole thing and what I want to do and how I want to do it and blah, 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 blah. And yeah, I don't really want to do the music reaction videos, at least not for now. Never say never, right? But at least, at least not for now because I, I I just I can't deal with some of you guys to be honest with you like some of you men out there when it comes to music reaction videos it's like look I'm, I'm just trying to have fun out here you know what I mean I'm not trying to deal with people's insecurities about their favorite bands you know what I mean so it's just, it's just long so uh, I'm not saying I'm never gonna do it again I'm just saying I, I think I want to allow it for a good while still and with the uh, with the TV uh, shows I was doing you know, that's pretty cool but it's just, again it's just long I think I'd rather just watch a TV show and then talk about it afterwards but yeah I do I do kind of miss doing reaction videos I, I do kind of miss watching something and being in the moment and just expressing my immediate thoughts and feelings on a thing um, but when it comes down to it I want to have fun with it I want to keep it simple. So if you guys, f short, short and fun. Let's go with that, short and fun. So um, if you guys know of like any videos that are short and fun to talk about, things we could maybe make jokes about, things we could just have a laugh with, things, you know, maybe get a little serious if you have to. But overall, just want to have fun with it. Short, sweet, simple, fun. If you got any videos like that, um, drop in the comments, send them through, you know, and, and, I'll, and I'll see what I can do. But for now, I've, I've got this video on screen. This is six uh, six things women say that are red flags and there's um maybe two reasons i picked this video so <laughs> let me just leave that there <laughs> i figured yeah let's watch this and i can give my super unqualified opinion um of what this lady is saying about the six things that are red flags that every guy needs to watch this apparently so every guy needs to watch this let's see what's uh let's see what she's saying Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and in Hi, this Courtney video, Ryan. we're gonna be going over six things women say that are red flags. She might hold things over your head like gifts, Valentine's Day, special days, uh, her birthday month, maybe her birthday year. It's her birthday year, the whole year is just a big celebration of her birthday. I don't know, it seems crazy. I mean, to be honest, I will say that personally, I've, well, maybe not never, but for a long time now, I've never really been big on celebrating my own birthday. Um, I mean, there's a bunch of reasons for that. You could probably get into that past trauma or something if you really want to. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's a problem if people want to celebrate their birthdays, though. I mean, I've been to a few parties, but I guess what she's trying to say is, I guess what Miss Ryan is trying to say is, like, um, you know, maybe there's certain people out there that expect, like, lots of presents and, and things like that. And listen, yeah, whether, it, whether she talks about birthday month or birthday this, listen, yeah, Never go more than what you could afford. And, you know, never go more than what you could afford. Like, so, if she's wanting, like, presents every day, like, I don't know, give her, give her a Kit Kat or something. You know what I mean? Like, you don't, you don't need to go, like, big and fancy, like, Tiffany's and diamond rings and all that kind of stuff. Was it Cartier and Cordon Bleu or whatever? You don't need to do that. You know, give her, give her a pack of, like, um, onion rings or something. You know what I mean? Like, in fact, in fact, any girl that would appreciate like a pack of five onion rings or a portion of chips you know what i mean stuff like that. that's a girl worth keeping so um go with what you could afford if you want gifts every day give her gifts every day but just keep it within what you could afford every day don't go wild with it and just to define it here for you so we can all understand what petulant means this is of a person or their manner childishly sulky or bad tempered he was moody and petulant a petulant shake of the head a okay well maybe not quite what i was thinking but you know kind of close but yeah I mean, yeah, listen, yeah, if you, um, I mean, look, you, you, it, it starts with self-respect, you know what I'm saying? It starts with self-respect, like, if you're with someone, and she's, like, expecting you to be up here, and she's down there all the time, I mean, actually, that could work out, <laughs> that might work still, but you know what I mean, you know what I mean, let me get my mind out of the gutter for a second, <laughs> But you know what I mean? If you're if you're if you're with somebody and her your she expects your behavior to be like top tier, but her behavior is like you know bottom bottom or whatever. I or guess the other way around for for the girls watching. You know, for he, he expects your behavior to be up here, but his behavior is like you know gutter level. Then yeah, like it's, it starts with self respect. So you know, don't don't put up with nobody's nonsense. You know, not don't put that with nobody's nonsense. Okay, nobody's nonsense. Don't put that with nobody's nonsense. <laughs> 
But if someone goes to incredible lengths to continue to speak badly about people and bash someone, this is normally not a good sign. Yeah, I think that's a good point, actually. I think that's a good point. Like, if you come across people who are, like, just negative, they never have anything good to say. And, yeah, of course, there's this, you know, like, circumstances where you just can't be positive all the time. I get that. I get that. I get that. But when you come across somebody who's, like, they've never got anything good to say about anybody, I mean, that's a, that's a saying I heard a while ago. If everywhere you go stinks, maybe you need to take a bath. You know what I mean? So if you're the type of person who has constantly got an issue with everybody around you, you know what I mean? Maybe you're the problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe you need to take... I know we got, like, water shortages right now, but still, take, take a bath, take a shower. You know what I mean? Wash your armpits at least, you know what I mean? Like, get a towel or something, wipe your face. <laughs> like, you can't, you can't, I mean, if, you, if you've got problems with everybody, it's you, you know what I mean? It's, it's probably you. Something bad or negative to say Wash about your the people out. in her life. We could Don't call this unwarranted tissue. diatribes. A forceful water. and bitter verbal attack against someone or something. Number three, we've got the mind reader talk. And this sounds something like, I shouldn't have to tell you, you should just know that. Or, I shouldn't... Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that at least 99.99% .99 of dudes have heard that at some point in their life. You should know what I'm talking about. Mate, I remember this time one girl called me. It was like years ago when you used to have like house phones and you didn't have the call ID. And it was like, what was she saying now? Yeah, you should know who this is. Like, well, why would I know? I'm supposed to recognize your voice? <laughs> like, I don't know. But yeah, it's like, okay, go on. So that was, maybe I should have. Um, but anyway, the point is, the point is, at some point in some dude's life, you're going to hear something like that. You should know who this is. You should know what I'm talking about. You should know what I, how I'm feeling. You should know what I want. And all that kind of, listen, yeah. Just let men know, innit? Just save the time. Save the hassle. Just let men know. Clearly, I don't know. So rather than saying what you think should happen, just go with what is. I do not know. So let men know. Otherwise, we're just going to be here saying, like, I don't know. It's not the information isn't gonna suddenly pop into my well actually it might, but in most cases, it's not just gonna suddenly just pop into my head about all the things like yeah. Just let man know or you can move on. And it's like, oh you should know what nah. Come on. Come on. Man ain't no right mind reader fan. <laughs> man ain't no Jedi. Jedi mind tricks out here. It's like, what is this? You see like Star Wars once, you think that's everybody. Nah. <laughs> Another red flag thing she might say here is, it's fine or I'm fine, when in reality, it's not. Of course. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of people do that though, not just not just girls. I think there's a lot of people who would do that sort of thing about saying I'm fine when it's not or not really communicating their emotions or feelings in, a, in an effective way. I think a lot of us do that. Um, but yeah, that goes into like, oy, like people's like, people, we, we need therapy. People need, listen, your therapy should be just like as as freely available as like any kind of healthcare, you know what I mean? Like or but that that might depend on which country. <laughs> to be fair, but it should be just freely available. Like we 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 people need therapy. I think a lot of us, most if not all of us, need therapy because like that's a common thing where people be like, yeah, I'm fine, don't worry about it. It's not a problem, da da da. When that's not what you mean at all, because like we just kind of condition to just say that and bury it and not deal with it and then eventually just comes out in some kind of outburst in fact i actually watched a good video recently about that sort of thing about how you keep everything inside and you keep pulling everything into this uh category of not a problem not a problem even though it is a problem but eventually that not a problem category gets so filled out you just have this outburst and because like everything's all muddled up you're not really c clearly saying what you really mean in that moment either and you're just you're not making any sense you sound like an idiot you know what i mean just all over the place your thoughts aren't all together because you haven't taken the time to effectively communicate how you feel when you feel it and yeah a lot of us do that and we shouldn't um well we shouldn't feel like we have to do it i should say and the reasons why we do it that goes into all kinds of the way we're raised trauma you know what i mean abuse everything like a lot of us go through various things that result in us just being like yeah it's fine even though it isn't so uh yeah not just the gal them not just the gal them man them do she that calls too, herself it? crazy 
believe it when she says it and get the heck out of there. And I think it's really sad. Even more than sad, it's a bit concerning. She might say something like, oh yeah, I stalked your location on Snapchat to make sure that you were at home like you said you were. I'm crazy, you know that. Okay, yeah, that's a bit much. <laughs> that's a bit much. I mean, crazy can be fun. Crazy can be fun, but yeah, there's, there's levels to this. You know what I'm saying? There's levels to this. Like, crazy can be fun, but... But... You don't want to end up tied to a bed with some woman at the feet of your bed with, uh, with like, a, a, a sledgehammer talking about, you know, you used to hobble people back in the day. I'm your number one fan. You don't need that. You don't need that. So, yeah, levels to this. Levels to this. Again, just breaking this one down here, I have seen so many girls post on and TikTok that reference, about all this comments. crazy stuff that they've done. And I think we've all experienced a level of insecurity at some point. Um, if you want some more examples, you can definitely just go to TikTok and type in like crazy girl or crazy. And you'll get so many videos pop up of girls talking about how they keyed someone's car or they threw their stuff off a balcony or they did all of this crazy stuff that quite yeah, frankly no, don't is just Listen, not... yeah, she's keying your car, throwing stuff, leave. Leave. Take whatever she's thrown out and leave. Go stay at your friend's house, your mom's house, whatever you need to do. Leave. Listen, you don't need to be trying to make that one work. And she's throwing, she's keying your car. Because first of all, like, I mean, especially if you use your car for your work, that's an issue, you know. Or even if if you don't, it's just, it's just not cool to be damaging somebody's car like that. So like, if she's if she's on that kind of level, leave. Walk away while you still can walk something you should be you will be hobbled number five is not necessarily something she says but not humbled hobbled you understand walk away while you can still what run even while you still can while you still have use of your legs get away get out I actually just did a video about signs that a girl is toxic and one of the points that I mentioned was achievement becomes competitive or something along those lines and this is something that I see yeah, happen every time a lot she interrupts, you just when smack that her. achievement <laughs> becomes a competitive thing within your relationship. She can't don't support you, that. she can't be happy for you, she doesn't encourage you because she feels Seriously, like you don't are do doing that. better than her. <laughs> yeah, like I found that when I was uh, working in like offices and stuff like that, um, I did notice there was quite a few times where um women will like be you know interrupt you when you're speaking and kind of talk over you and, and that sort of thing and i mean i don't know exactly why that is i mean at a guess i'll i'll say it's something to do with the fact that um at least during that time i don't know what things are like now and i haven't worked in office for, for a long time now but certainly at the time it's like it wasn't that women didn't get promotions or, or things like that but it wasn't necessarily common either you know i mean you definitely had a lot more men getting promotions and in sort of positions of uh, authority so when a woman did get a position uh, get into a position of authority um often having to you know prove that you belong there and that kind of stuff and that more often than not came out in ways like they'll uh, uh, you know go and turn to an extreme of like interrupting you um bottom line is that whatever the reason was it's annoying <laughs> you know what i mean it's annoying when you're trying to speak and someone just cuts you off or uh, talks over you, completely ignores you, or I should say, like tries to complete your say uh, what you're saying, or tries to answer you based on what they think you're going to say, and it's like, no, I, I wasn't going to say that, and it just ends up being this whole long thing. So yeah, whatever the reason is, don't don't do that. And I know guys do that too. Yeah, don't do that. It's not cool. It's it's not clever. It's just stupid. Just let the person speak and then speak afterwards. And if people are speaking over you, smack them. <laughs> no, don't do that. So, metaphorically speaking, metaphorically, not, not physically. <laughs> I feel like I need to explain to all of you is I hate men or all men are trash. The alpha warning yeah, signs easy. of the warning That's signs. an easy one. I could go on and on here about statements I see that fall into this she hates I hate all men, men what's category she doing with you? or men are the worst category. Um, but good luck with a girl like this. Let me if know you down. think all men are trash, Maybe stop looking in the dumpster. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe stop looking for dudes in the dumpster. You find trashy men in trashy places. Well, actually, that's not exactly true. But you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's like, look, if you're the type of person who thinks all men are trash or all people are this or all this or that and all this type of person, that, that's a you issue. You know what I mean? That is a you issue. There's a point where you have to understand, like I said before, if everywhere you go stinks, you need to take a bath. You understand? You understand? Anyway, 
Um, yeah, that was pretty interesting. I like that video. I think there was some uh, really cool, uh, interesting points being made. Things to look out for. Um, six things that women say. I would say that's just things that people say or people do um, that 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 are just annoying. I don't know if that's specific to, specific to women, but in any case, I know you probably get more views where you put women in the title rather than things that people do. But whatever. I don't know. It's YouTube. People do mad things, but whatever. Um, six things that people do, whether women or dudes, it's it's not cool. It's not cool. Um, so yeah, don't if you're doing those things, don't do them or figure out why you're doing them so you can stop doing them. Because yeah, some of those things I know go back to like childhood trauma. I get that. I get that. But yeah, you need to figure out what you're doing, why you're doing that, and stop doing it. Um, but anyway, um, let me know what you think of that. Let me know what you think of the video. Um, let me know what you think of stuff. <laughs> you know um drop me suggestions recommendations in the comments send it through and i'll see what i can do like share subscribe because we're doing this thing more videos on the screen check out my other channels as well be much appreciated but that's gonna be it for the minute so guys until whenever and if ever peace